video on how I fixed a DDoS attack. Um, this was pretty complicated and I really wasn't able to find too much documentation other than maybe if you're using Cloudflare, then you're going to be protected or if you're going to use a DDoS service of any sort. Um, there's a bunch of them like site lock and stuff. Um, my one of choice was like Cloudflare for this one. I was able to fix it. Now, the first thing to do is to really pinpoint where that attack is coming from. Um, and this was a, like very difficult to start. So I logged in as a root to my host. And now at that point in time, it was going really slow. There was pretty frustration because the load was so high on the server. Now, um, I do a little load over here. And in an event of a DDoS attack, you would see a bunch of the same user over and over. Now, what it happened to be is the account was called Aquagrade. And uh, I've made other videos about this site before. And I believe uh, this site was being attacked uh, by a, a brute force attack. So they were trying to go to WP admin and log in. Um, so, uh, after figuring out what it was, the first thing I did is I banned the user. Now I went over here to suspend, I just if you type in suspend, go to manage account suspension in WHM and suspend it. You can also do it from terminal. I believe the, uh, the terminal script, um, looks something like, let's actually type it in. I mean like scripts and then unsuspend. And then you type in your user or suspend. Or it might be suspend accounts. So you might have to go look that up. Um, now when I was doing this, I, I was uh, going back and forth. And what I would notice is that when I would suspend the user, the load would completely drop. And when you uh, unsuspend the user, they didn't. Now, what I did um, in this event is I did a tail on the actual traffic. Let's see if I can find it. I guess I've done a lot of work on this so far, but um, here it is. So um, there's actually tails for this. Now this is the current tail. Now you can see that I'm still getting uh, some hits on some traffic and you can see that it's, uh, um, these are like weird IPs that I'm getting. Now in the event of the, tr the traffic, I actually recorded a video of the logs. And so here it is. And you can see in this attack, there's many, many more. I mean, every second I was getting a, a ton of hits. And if you look closely at the, this video, you can see a lot of these are repeat IP addresses. And there's also a bunch of blocks. So that really tells you that it's definitely a bot. Also, this is where the user agent is over here. There's just a dash uh, and that dash definitely means that it's a bot and it's not even a well thought out bot. So um, with that being said, um, after who is in a lot of these IPs, I was able to determine that a lot of these were uh, just hacked websites and it was a swarm of websites that was trying to get access to mine. At least that's what I can determined. I don't think they were just trying to take me down. Now back to attacking them. After the count suspended, it's great, but we need to fix the website to, to get us back online. Now my servers of choice for this event was uh, Cloudflare. Now Cloudflare is great. It does offer DD, DDS attacking, uh, DDS protection. I believe even on their free version, 
Um, they do have a mission to like make DDoS go away completely. Now, my problem with this though is that I was able to uh, turn on Cloudflare, but um, after turning it on, I was still getting a bunch of these. Now, how do I make it so the website's online without um, suspension and not get a bunch of these different attacks? And so my solution was a bit tricky. Um, I started by creating a .ht access file. And I started by just doing um, a, like deny from all and then, but allow from my own IP. Now, doing from my own IP, I realized that, oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not even able to access the site. So, uh, and the reason why is because all the IPs are going through Cloudflare. Now, what this means is the bots, um, the bots over here, they were going straight to the site instead of routing through Cloudflare, so I wasn't being protected at all. It's like they're going beyond the, the protection. So I just did a quick Google search for Cloudflare IPs, and it's pretty easy to pull it up. All I did is copy these, put in allow from before in my .ht access file, and it worked great. My, the rest of the .htx file is just the, uh, the rest of the attack, or the rest of the um, WordPress stuff. Now what this does is it gives me, it denies all the uh, users that aren't propagated. Now this is good or bad, but usually with a bot, at least my thought is that the bot is attacking me and because it's attacking me every second, there's no reason for it to refresh its DNS. Whereas a typical user, the DNS is gonna refresh on its own no matter what, so it's gonna go through Cloudflare and they're not even gonna know it. So that means that they can have access to the website through Cloudflare and I can be protected. For all the uses that aren't propagated yet, creating a deny all and then only allowing from Cloudflare allows Cloudflare to actually do its job. Now after I was able to do this, I was able to get into the website, make some changes wherever I needed, but most of all, I was able to have a website that was up again. So that's how I fixed it. It was a bit confusing and uh, definitely very little documentation that I could find on how to do that for a live site and make it so it changes immediately. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, I know this type of event can be incredibly stressful and can definitely bring down a lot of sites. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See you around. Bye.